like this year, sorry, next year, I've decided on certain things I'm going to accomplish. Now, some of them are really hard, a little, no, like big. But I know in my mind right now, I work in my employees are fully, fully working. So let me give you an example of how I work. Imagine in your head right now, you have one million employees, workers. They live in your head. Right? A million of them. Everyone has one million. We're equally given a million. No one has two million, five million. One million is given, take that part. So when you wake up in the morning, and if you wake up like this, So if I wake up in the morning, and I wake up like, oh, God. How many employees of mine wake up? Maybe 1%. The ones that function my body. I have to go to the toilet, I have to brush my teeth, wash my face. The rest of the employees are sleeping. They say, you know what? It's kind of boring. No excitement to sleep. As you get up the day, more and more employees wake up. They wake up, and as you go throughout the day, hopefully, the employees wake up. Now, what happens in most people's cases, 95% of the people out there, is that when they wake up in the morning, big one employee wakes up. Wake up. And throughout the whole day, maybe out of a million, maybe 10,000 employees are awake. What they do, they do what they call routine. Most people have routine. They wake up in the morning, and they do exactly the same thing day after day after day after day. And after a while, it becomes a program. It's a program. It's it? in there. Brain goes, wake up, bathroom, brush teeth, wash face, have a shower, sit down, coffee, breakfast, get up, sit in the car, drive the same way, reach the same time, same desk, same monitor, same vocal, same friends, come home, sit down, have tea, watch television, eat dinner, go to sleep, wake up. Program. How exciting is that? Every day. Now the employees now realize that out of a million people, only 10,000 are required for the job. The rest go to sleep. And that's called being demotivated. Because the employees are really irritated. So why is this guy hired us if we're not working? We're just chilling. I don't, how long can you relax for? People say, I want to retire, I want to sit on the beach. How long will you sit on the beach for? Come on. And I sat on the beach for three days. On the fourth day, I wanted to get off the beach. How long did you eat chicken biryani or vegetable biryani for? Your favorite dish? Every day? No, get bored. So the employees are bored. Now, the opposite spectrum is this that you're in bed, the alarm is set for 6 o'clock in the morning. And at 5 30, you get up and you jump out of bed. You run to the window and you say, Good morning, world! Good morning, colleague! I just can't wait to go to work today! Exaggerate. <laughs> but you wake up in the morning, you wear red underwear, you jump and you beat your chest and say, I'm ready to go to work today! Exaggerate, but you know what I mean. You jump out of bed, I leap out of bed. If I could put a camera in my room and you saw me in the morning, you would laugh. Because like, I leap. I mean, it's like someone has just put an electric current on me. And I fly out. I run to my shower, I put it on cold, and I jump in. Now I'm wide awake in seconds. My employees are thinking, what, what the hell? What's going on? And they're all away, all one million, like looking around like this. What's he doing? What's he doing? Why is he so alert? So I, I get up now, and then I have my breakfast. And then half an hour later, I hit the gym. I spin, I love spin, I love spin this side. I do like 21 kilometers. In 45 minutes. It's nice. Now my employees are bursting with it. And my body is functioning at full speed, like locomotive. But it's fine in the morning. And then I go, and now I go to work. Now, work is something that's really good. My work is something really interesting for me, and everybody's work is. But you've got to create something new every single day. A new way, a new method, a new experience every day. And what happens to your employees? They get really motivated. And they become motivated employees. Which if you fall down, and you've got a million employees alive, and 200,000 go down, the other 800,000 lift them back up. 
get up, what are you doing? We're all excited, you're not. Now imagine you've got 10,000 employees a week, and 9,000 go down, the 1,000 are saying, oh, you know what, I have to do this. It's okay for him, it's okay for her. She has money, she has time, she has knowledge, she has education. And you got to So the key is to inspire yourself. Nobody can motivate you. Sorry. It's going to be done by yourself. And it can only be done through creativity of ideas. It's got to be got ideas in your head. You've got to wake up, break that routine. I mean, it's really boring. Most marriages get really boring after a few years. People, everything becomes a routine. If you know what I mean. And I'm sure you. <laughs> but routine. And you get a boring, boring, boring. And the time that goes in an affair, it's like, wow, sparks. Why? Because it's not a routine. It's got to be variety in your life. One of the biggest reasons why people get old and die quickly is because there's no variety. So I'm going to give you the secret of longevity. How you can remain young for the rest of your life. I'm not kidding.